I've heard that here in Eastern Finland, the business culture is quite unique. I definitely want to get to know it while I'm here. I'm a British blogger, James, and I come here to get familiar with the Finnish working culture. This is my first time in Finland. It's great. An engineer called Miko will be my guide here in Corpio. But first, Miko took me into the heart of the Finnishness. There are 5.5 million people in Finland and over half a million summer cottages. It's crazy. In just about 30 minutes we arrived to Miko's summer cottage. And there we were, in the middle of nowhere, and no one around us but silence, tranquility and beauty. So this lake is called Ylävarpa. Very nice place. But now we have to go to make some sauna boot. Okay, James, you're there. Come here. Chopping firewood is the Finnish way to relax. Master Mika is going to teach me how to be a Jedi master with this job. Okay, he helps me a little bit. That was nice. Baby steps to the boat. Okay. Miko told me that their company was actually founded in 1962 in a small basement as a one-man laving shop. Today there are over 250 employees and factories in Finland and Poland. He also said there are lots of robots involved. Sauna, a Finnish tradition. As I learned, it is a place for silence and relaxing. For sure, no one can actually tell how many saunas there are, but an estimation is that in Finland, there are over 3 million saunas today. After sauna, James. it was time for another Come tradition, on. that is swimming in a lake which felt ice cold. There was no turning back. This in one of Finland's 168,000 lakes. Hey, James. This is the first aid. Oh man, the amount of mosquitoes out there. It felt like the mosquitoes smelled the fresh blood of a tourist. They left Miko alone, but there was so much buzzing and whining going on around me. Right now, you're probably thinking just how many mosquitoes there are. My estimate is too much. Mika was very hospitable. Sausages on a campfire at sunset, one for the bucket list for sure. Miko took his time on the phone, so I tasted the drinks a little bit more. Look how beautiful that view is. Sunset and two good looking guys. Perfect. It was time to go to sleep, cause tomorrow it's gonna be early start to go to the factory.
Good morning, James. I had to go to work. I woke up 5 a.m. I did some of my morning routines. First, I did some firewoods and then I went for a morning swim. It's going to be a nice day and I think sauna is still warm. During summertime, I commute by rowing and running. Take it easy, James. Ja ole kuin kotonasi. You must meet Jani. He is my right hand. He's kind of like the Q of our company. He is super chill but takes his job seriously. I have got such a busy day. There is food in the fridge. You can eat whatever you want. I will pick you up from the cottage after my meetings. Okay, it was just a fucking dream. I was so excited to actually get to visit Hydroline's factory. I was keen to see if the factory was what I expected a modern family business to be like. In the early hours I had to go to the outside loo. I was a bit scared to go there in the middle of the night, but I survived. The factory was even more modern than I believed. Miko certainly was no James Bond, but a typical Finnish superman. A graduate engineer, he told me about the future of hydraulics and manufacturing, as well as the Finnish working culture. Hydroline designs and manufactures durable heavy-duty hydraulic cylinders and offers a lifetime service on them. The Finnish industry leader is a high-class pioneer in the hydraulic industry and one of the most modern operators worldwide. This family-owned company has the vision to grow and expand the business further into global markets. It was great to take a peek at the heart of Finnishness, to feel the peace of a summer cottage, to swim in the country of a thousand lakes. The mosquito bites aren't itching anymore and the worst hangover started to be over. Good luck Miko and Hydroline.